Okay, so I got another email from Asir the other day, uh, which was just to let me know that he's done another couple of operating systems. Uh, and this is based on Ubuntu Kylin. And you can see it looks very much like Windows 10. And uh, if I click on the side here, you can see it's got all this transparency. I can uh, start to search for apps and you can see that everything comes out really nice and quickly. On the desktop, we've got Netflix, uh, and this is the Monka version, so this has been uh, made to work with Widevine support, which is really good, so you don't have to do that. Uh, we've got things like PyKiss on the desktop, which is great to see. Uh, I don't know what the README file is. Let's have a quick look at that. Uh, so it's overclocked, so you might wanna, before you start this up, if you haven't got adequate cooling, you might want to lower those settings. Uh, so the standard setting on a Pi uh, would be, so without overvoltage, ARM frequency would be 1500 and GPU frequency would be 600. Uh, so you would uh, you could delete all of those from, well, let's just see where they are. They're probably in config.txt. So let's just call up the file manager and see what that looks like. So uh, if we go to file system and boot and then what have we got well I can't see a config.txt in there it's not under firmware is it yeah config.txt so it's under firmware uh, and here we are oh no it's not in there so that's config.txt but it's not where the overclock is done uh, in fact let's just double check that overclock so if we call up a terminal uh, oh, we got so we've got the cool retro terminal. I haven't tried this. Uh, I saw that other people had covered it, uh, and I saw that it showed up in uh, PyKiss, which is great to see. So if we do sudo apt install neofetch, if it's not really there, uh, password is Phoenix. He's very nice. I like this scan line that comes down. So while it's doing that, I'm just going to see if there's a user config uh, because, yeah, so user config.txt is the way that Wimpy does his Ubuntu overclocking. So let's go into that and have a look. Yeah, there's no overclocking in there either. Okay, we need to wait for NeoFetch and see if this definitely is overclocked. So let's just go back and see if there's anything else I missed. I can't see anything else there. I couldn't see any of the uh, fancy transitions, which I really liked in the previous uh, Phoenix OS version. Uh, but there is also another one I want to try, but I'll probably do that in, uh, in tomorrow's video or the next day. So, overclock, over voltage. This distro is built using, it's obviously Ubuntu Mate uh, as a base. If you don't have a good refrigeration, turn off the Raspberry right now and change them from the PC. For now, it's made by me, Andromeda, but my goal is to have more people help me in my projects and I help in others. I know he's been talking to uh, Salvador from PyLabs, and uh, obviously, uh, well, he's, he's, I don't know if he's been chatting to Munker, but he's using the, uh, the Munker Netflix fix, which is nice to see all these people collaborating, all these great minds together. Is this still going? Oh, it's struggling to, it's struggling to do it, isn't it? I've had this before, with uh, Wimpy's version of Ubuntu, let's just let's just close it down and open it up again. Just try the ordinary terminal. I wonder if it remembers what I've just yeah. It actually remembers what I've just typed into the other one. Still got the same thing with the cache lock. Okay, let's leave that doing in the background because I know it is updating. Uh, it came up with an update and it's been doing updates for quite a while. So whether it needs to finish that before it can do the rest of it. Updating snaps. Oh, it just said uh, NeoFetch is already, so NeoFetch is already on there. Of course it is, because loads of things are already pre-installed. So let's, no, let's do this back in the, uh, in the other one. So that's all up to date. Let's call uh, it on the desktop as well. Let's, so let's double click on that and type in Neo Fetch, and this will tell us a little bit about the system, but it doesn't tell us. Oh, yeah, it does. Yeah, 1.5. So it's not overclocked. 
and it would it would look like it isn't overclocked because I couldn't find anything in user config or config.txt. So we'll assume that it isn't overclocked. I do like that terminal, that is very nice. And it's nice that certain things like that come pre-installed. What happens if we click on the computer icon? Is it just gonna be files that come up? Oh yeah, so it gives us the file system, it gives us uh, what's plugged in. There is plank doc, uh, which is on the desktop here, and it puts a doc here, because obviously you've already got these icons down here, so we've already got Chromium, uh, we've already got Firefox down here, we've got Kylin Software Center, I can't remember if I, if I covered that in a, a previous video, um, but basically it looks like it's a service you need to sign into, uh, and everything was coming up with Chinese characters. So it's got a bit of an animation when it starts, so you see the Plank Dock is showing what's, what's currently running. You can, you, you don't have to have that on display, uh, but you can if you want. Uh, also, you can see what's running down the bottom here. So we got we got a kind of double up if we have the plank dock on there. But I don't think you need it because you've got this down the bottom. So oh, so it gives so something like Gparted. Look, we can install straight from there. I wonder if Gparted comes already in there. No, it doesn't look like it. Control panel. A nice looking control panel. Personalized. Oh, we got so you can see the wallpaper, different colors, themes, loads and loads of customization there. Font, screensaver. So let's close that down. I mean, it, well, we could probably, if we were to search for something, so say I search for imager, what does it come up with? An application found. You can select, so, Belena. No, it doesn't look like it fine. Right, we know Gparted is there, so let's just check. Yeah, so Gparted comes up. So it's just an alternate app store. So let's just go through uh, the start bar here. So we've got about, what's that gonna tell us about the system? So this is my eight gig Pi. It's a 64 bit operating system. Uh, GNOME version, windowing system. Yeah, I do like uh, the way Ubuntu does this. Very, very straightforward, very simple. Uh, but all the fonts are nice and clean, all the look of everything is, is very Windows, which, uh, which works very well. Security updates, Ubuntu base, well let's close that down for now. PyKiss, Mines, and let's have a look through all apps here. So you can see we can scroll down with the, with the trackpad. Yeah, so Chromium Media Edition is on there already, so we should have very good uh, YouTube support on there. And I'll have a look at YouTube. So let's go back up and try Chromium Media Center Edition. So if I put CH in here, yeah, Chromium Media Edition. Down the bottom here was a notification center and this was flashing earlier on and it was telling me to, that I connected the Wi-Fi. So it's like a little update, um, but very similar to the way Windows pops out, Windows 10 pops out. Clipboard, plugins, a little, little plugins here as well, a notebook and so on. Yeah, very nice. So clean up, get rid of that message. Now I've seen it. So let's try YouTube. Let's try one of my videos. We've got H.264 FI already on there, and Block 60 FPS is on there as well, which is uh, a wise move on a Pi. So so let's play something with a bit of movement in it. Oh, actually, yeah, that one as well. I haven't used that one for a while. You can hear the sound is coming out of my speaker. I'm using the three and a half mil connection. I don't think the Wi-Fi is working. I'm going to turn off my speaker so it doesn't uh, interrupt what I'm saying. And let's skip on a bit. Have I got screen capture in this or is it all? Yeah, it's not, it's not screen capturing this. <laughs> let's, let's do another one. That's recorded direct off my TV. So I'll just change it to something that I know has got motion in it, which will be this one. Skip in a bit. Scrubbing works very well. I mean, I'm used to using uh, Ubuntu Mate, uh, which is this is based on, uh, and that works very well for video performance. So let's go, and we're not overclocked. It's only on 480 at the moment. Let's go up to 720. 
Yeah, that looks pretty good. Right click and stats for nerds just to see how many frames it's dropping. 38 of 274. It's not the smoothest actually. Looking at it. Well, it is dropping quite a lot of frames now. Whatever reason that would be. So that probably needs to be looked at. But uh, this is just my first look at it. I wanted to highlight another uh, one of Asir's operating systems uh, just because he's doing such great work on all these customization and it's just interesting to see something else, more options on the Pi. So let's minimize that. Oh, we've got the Snap Store here as well. So let's click on that. I didn't see that before. Let's have a look at that. Books and reference. Doesn't look like it's... Oh yeah, it is there. Just a bit slow starting up. Entertainment. There you go, so loads of things you can install there. Okay, so uh, anyway, this was just a quick look, uh, but again, it's it's really nice to see more work being done. And uh, I would like to see some of the transitions. I think that uh, with Phoenix OS, it's nice to see those, uh, you know, a lot of people aren't doing those transitions and different desktop switches. I couldn't see one on this. Uh, it could be there and I've just missed it. We have got that, no, is that gonna? So this does this sort of thing but we haven't got the control alt and the 3D desktop, which I really liked in the other version of Phoenix OS that I tried. Anyway, I hope this all helps. Thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.